Hi, my name is Jay Haidt. I'm a family law attorney with offices throughout Israel. And one of the questions that I get asked by people a lot of times when we're finished with their cases, especially when I'm representing English-speaking clients from originally from other countries, is, hey, is our divorce going to be recognized outside of Israel, right? I.e., an American and a British woman get married, they're living in Israel, they get divorced in Israel, and afterwards say, well, wait a second, is it going to be recognized outside of Israel? And first, a little bit of, you you know, why is that a relevant question, right? You know, the gut instinct is, hey, of course, you know, everything is recognized. The issue is, is that in Israel, divorce is done by the religious courts, okay? So what the real question is, well, is a divorce given by the rabbinic court going to be recognized by England or recognized by the United States, okay? And by the way, there is a case where people get divorced not in the religious court, and that's people who are of different religions, right? Someone who's Jewish is married to someone who's Catholic. Well, they can't get divorced in a religious court because the religious courts aren't going to take jurisdiction, then the family courts will do the divorce, but really it's an anomaly. But the bottom line is, and this is what's really important to understand, is that other countries are going to give full faith and credit to the Israeli divorce. It doesn't make a difference whether it was done by a religious court or whether it was an anomaly done by the family court. Countries other than Israel will accept the Israeli judgment and people are divorced there as well. Now, what do you do to make sure that they recognize it? Well, it's really easy. What you have to do is, first of all, you have to get an apostille on your certificate of divorce, right? And then you have to get a notary translation of that into the language of the country where you want it to be recognized in. And by the way, for the United States, there's not a general registry. So it's not like you have to register the divorce anywhere. But if it ever comes back and they want proof of divorce, for example, on taxes or something like that, all you have to do is give the original document, the apostille and the notary translation, and it's recognized. Uh, my name is Jay Haidt. I'm a family law attorney with offices throughout Israel, and my phone number appears on the screen in front of you. If you have questions about family law, pick up the phone and call us. We help people with family law problems day in, day out.